Welcome to this video on graphing systems of linear inequalities. We just finished with systems of, equal, of equations, so these are inequalities. By the end of this video, you should be able to determine whether you need to use a solid or dotted line based on the inequality symbol. You should be able to appropriately shade the solution of set of a linear inequality, and you should be able to graph the solution to a system of linear inequalities in two variables as the intersection of two half planes. All right, so let's take a look at what we have. A system of linear inequality is when you have two or more linear inequalities that are graphed together. We are going to focus only of two at a time. I am going to recommend if you do not have with you right now two different colors of pens or pencils to go ahead and get them or at least two different color markers to do the shading. It will be very helpful as we go forward. So what is the solution to the set? of linear inequalities. So the solution is the overlapping regions of shading. All points that are in the overlapped shading make both inequalities true. Okay, so we're going to have, this is where the two colors come in. We're going to shade, graph and shade one line and then we're going to graph and shade the other. Where those two shadings overlap will be the solution to the system of inequalities. All right, so let's go ahead and try and see what we've got here. So I have my first two inequalities. They're already in slope intercept form. This is the easiest way to graph these. So I'm going to start the top inequality at negative 1. And it has a slope of negative 1, which means go down, down one, right one, down one, right one, down one, right one. So I can see where my line is going. We have to remember this is not included. The, this is not an equal sign inequality. That means we got to have a dotted line because our line is not included in part of our solutions. So we don't want a solid line. Okay. Okay, so that's, and this says the y values are greater than the line. So if I go to my y-intercept, where are y's va va y values greater than this point? This is negative 1. The y values up here are greater than negative 1. So I'm going to shade on this side of the line. And in fact, to make it a little bit easier, I think I'm going to go ahead and use a highlighter to shade this in. Now this shading actually goes beyond these what we're seeing right here, we just have kind of a snapshot right here at the origin it and continues up here and to the side. We just can't see that. All right, so now our other inequality. I'm doing a different color. It says y is less than x minus 5. So we're going to start at negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And our slope is positive 1. So it goes up 1, right 1. Now remember, we're not looking for the point of intersection. We're looking where the shadings overlap. This also needs to be a dotted line as it is not equal to. So I'm going to do my dotted line. Okay. And it says the y values are less than. So when I go to this y value on the y-intercept, where are the y values less than this point? The more negative you go, the more the smaller the numbers get. So less than is on the bottom side here. So I'm going to shade everything underneath this line and see right there where our shadings overlapped. That's our solution area. Any point in this solution area, put a S for solution, that is going to solve our system of inequalities. So if I asked is the point zero zero a, a solution, zero zero is right here in just the blue it won't work for both inequalities. It will only work for the top one because the top one I did in blue. If I asked about this point, which is 0, negative 7, it's only in the pink, so it's only going to work for the bottom inequality. I have to ask something over here in the purple that will work for both of the inequalities. All right, let's try this again. So these are already in slope-intercept form, so they're easier to shade. And so our, my top inequality says start at positive 7, which is right here, y is 7. And then we're going to have a, a slope of positive 1 3rd. So that says go up 1 and write 3. Up 1, write 1, 2, 3. And I ran out of room, so I'm going to count opposite instead of up and right. 
I'm going to go down and left. Down one, one, two, three. Down one, one, two, three. Okay. I don't have an equal sign. That means my line is dotted. Okay. And it says y's are less than the line. So from here, less than is below the line. So I'm going to take my shade and make it be everything below the line. Okay. Now let's graph the second one. We're going to start at positive 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And my slope is negative 1. So that really means go down one, right one, down one, right one. And I do have an equal sign on this one. So instead of a dotted line, my line here is going to be solid. So take it and make a solid line. Now noticing I'm making my lines all the way across. You should also make sure you're doing the same thing. Okay, y is greater than the line. So I'm going to go right here. Where is y bigger than this number, greater than this number? The y values up here are. So everything above the pink line is going to be shaded. Okay, so you can see where our shading overlapped here. So this is going to be our solution area where it turned purple. So any point in the purple area works for both inequalities. If it's just in the blue, it only works for the top. If it's just in the pink, it only works for the bottom. It has to be for both. And then you think about also dotted lines. If it's on the dotted line, it's not part of the solution. But if it is on the solid line, it is. That goes back to what we've already learned about previously. All right, let's take a look at number three. Both of these are not in slope-intercept form, so we're going to have to make um, some adjustments to it. So whenever you have a, an equation in standard form, we are suggesting that you solve it for y, meaning get y by itself. So to get y by itself, it's currently locked up with the 4. We need to subtract x from both sides. So I'm going to have negative 4y is less than or equal to negative x plus 24. Okay. Now I want to get y by itself. I'm going to divide each thing by negative 4. And we get y. Now I divided by a negative, so my inequality changes direction. is greater than negative 1 over negative 4 is positive 1 fourth x. Positive 24 divided by negative 4 is negative 6. Okay, so we start at negative 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then our slope is a positive 1 over a positive 4, so you rise 1, run right 4. Rise 1, run right 4. It does have an equal symbol to it, so that makes it a solid line. All right, now for the shading. It says y's are greater than the line. So from this point on the y-intercept, because we know this y right here very well, where is greater than negative 6? These numbers are bigger than negative 6, so that's our greater than. So we're going to shade above. Okay. Now, we were lucky in that our other inequality is in fact already in slope-intercept form. So we can just go ahead and graph it. It starts at positive 1, and it has a slope of 2 divided by 1. So that says go up 2, right 1, up 2, right 1, up 2, right 1. Now it is also equal to, so that means we can use a solid line. Okay, and it says the y's are less than the line. So I look at the y-intercept. The y value here is 1. Where are the numbers less than 1 for y values? They're down below the line. So you want to shade everything below the line. Okay. So 
So you can see this big purple region over here. That's where our solution set is going to be. Any point in this purple region makes both inequalities true. And the lines are included because they're both solid. So if it's on either of the, the point is on either of the lines, it will also be part of the solution. So that's our solution set. Okay, so now we have a special case line. They show up. This says go through the x-axis at negative four. So I go to where x is negative four. One, two, three, four, and I only want to go through the x-axis. So I don't want to go this way. If I go horizontal, I'm going to end up going through the y-axis. So I need to go only through the x-axis. It's not equal to, so we're talking a dotted line here. And where the x, x is less than negative four. So this is negative four, this is negative three. These numbers going this way are bigger. So to the left is smaller. So that's where we want to shade is to the left. Now we've got to take care of this other one. It's not ready to be graphed quite yet. So I want to get y by itself. So when I start solving, I use my inverse operations. 2y is less than or equal to negative 3x minus 2. To get y by itself, divide everything by 2. I did not divide by a negative number, so my inequality does not change. y is less than or equal to negative 3 over 2x minus 1. Okay, so our slope, our, we're going to start at negative 1 for our y-intercept, and our slope is negative 3 over a positive 2. So this says go down 3, right 2. 1, 2, 3, right 2. 1, 2, 3, right 2. Well, that's going away from where I really wanted to be. Um, so instead of down and right, you can count up and left. One, two, three, one, two. And really, we just are going to make a line anyhow. So we look, and it is an equal to line. So we get a solid line here, not dotted. So a nice solid line all the way across the graph. And it says the y's are less than the line. So when I go right here, where are the y values less than negative 1? Less than is below. So I'm going to shade everything below the line. So it's on this side. Okay. And you see we made our purple region. Our purple reason, region is our solution here. Any point in the purple region, and the purple region extends, remember, any point out here is a solution. If it's on the pink line, it's part of the solution here, but not over here. And if it's on the purple and the blue line, it's not part of the solution because the blue line is dotted. All right, two more and we're going to be done. What I'd like you to do is pause the video and see if you can get the equations before we graph them. Just work on the equations first. Go ahead and pause the video and see how you do. All right, let's see how you did with your, your inequality. The bottom one's ready to go. We don't have to do anything to that. To get the 5y by itself, we moved the 4x over first using inverse operations. So I had negative 5y is greater than or equal. Ne uh, negative 4x minus 35, divide everything by negative 5. I'm dividing by a negative number, so my inequality change signs, change directions. And I have y is less than or equal to 4 over 5x plus 7. So we're going to start at positive 7. There's not room to count up and write 5, so I'm going to count down and left. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This will be a solid line because it's an equal to inequality. Okay, and it says the y values are less than, so where the y is less than this point is below it. So we're going to shade everything below. All right. Now our other line, it's going to start at negative 2, and it has a slope of negative 1. 
which means down one, right one. Okay. And then it is a dotted line because it's not equal to. And it wants to be y greater than. So from this point where the y value is greater than, they're going to be above the line. So you want to shade everything above the pink line. So I end up with this really big purple region here. Any point in there is a solution. All right, we'll work on the rest of these in class. Hope this was helpful.